are you sending marketing emails and your emails are clipped there are two big problems with that small and big the small one your tracking analytics are off and second one it's a huge one you are breaking the law Hi, my name is Andre. I'm the founder of Flowing Email Marketing Agency, which mentions to grow e-commerce business sustainably with a channel of their own. In the past years, I received more and more emails in my inbox where at the bottom of the email, it says email is clipped. So I decided to record this video to show you how to avoid it and stay compliant with the law. But before we start, I want to explain you and tell you a little bit more about those two big problems. So the first problem is your analytics is off. Why? Because all uh, email marketing service providers, uh, they put their tracking code pixel at the bottom of the email. So under unsubscribe under manage preference under your address uh, typically they put at the bottom so when email is clipped uh, open rate click to rate conversions and all other data is is not populated to your email marketing software so if your emails uh, you send email let's say to 10,000 subscribers and your open rate is zero or close to zero it's not because nobody opened there might be a lot of people who open it but uh, emails were clipped that's why data was not populated back to your email marketing service provider and the second problem which a huge one your emails are not compliant with can spam act meaning to be compliant with can spam act you have to include unsubscribe at the bottom of your email as well as your physical address and majority of clipped emails are clipped right above unsubscribe or and or your physical address so when email is clipped in most cases you are not compliant with that uh, that law and some of your email subscriber might complain and you might get in trouble so how can you fix it i'm sorry to interrupt the video i will continue in a second but i want to make a short announcement in less than one week we will be releasing our podcast called email einstein where we'll talk about uh, all things email marketing and where we will interview successful brands who succeed uh, by using email marketing so i highly 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 recommend to subscribe to go and join the waiting list or if you look in the future uh, go to podcast platform you use and look for email einstein and listen subscribe comment and give us feedback so let's go back to the video so first i will start from easy solutions so First, you can place a tracking code, not in the footer, but in the header of your email. It will solve the tracking issue, the analytic issue, but it will not solve the law compliance issue. But anyway, I'll show you right now on my computer how you can do it. Uh, I will show you in Clavio, uh, email marketing service providers we use, uh, but this option might be available in email marketing service provider you use so let's go to my computer so here i'm in my clavio test account so i click on the flow I click account and i click settings and click on email settings and we are looking for email tracker position so i click email tracker place the email tracking pixel in the top of the email contact content um, okay so it's saved so the first issue is solved however it will not fix another issue unless you will put your unsubscribe manage or manage preference and physical address at the top of email which will not make any sense so this easy fix will not do the job so there's harder way to do it but I highly recommend for you to do the hard way because this is the right way to do it. So let's start. There's three things we should know about. So the first one, your email should be less than 102 kilobytes. All parts of your email consist of HTML code and HTML code has a weight and each character 
accounts and there should be less than 102 kilobyte. How you can check uh, how big is your emails, you can just send a test to yourself, to your inbox and check how heavy it is. Let me show you how you can do it. So let's go to my email and look for some marketing email. Uh, I received a few emails this morning, so curve next. Let's do this one. Um, so here's the email. It's not click, clipped, which is good. How heavy it is, you click here and you do download message and it downloads. So now I want to go to my folder look for downloads and I see that email is 36 kilobytes let's see other emails which are clipped and how, how heavy they are okay so I found this email um, and this is the simple email but it's I believe it's code heavy uh, and as you can see it's it says clipped email so this is the problem so let's see how heavy it is. Uh, download message. And let's go back to this. And as you can see, it's 126 kilobyte. So the rule number one, you need to make your email slide. By the way, images don't count images because images are hosted in the cloud and images are equal to few kilobytes. So it does not, uh, let's say if your image is heavy, it does not mean email will be heavy because images are hosted somewhere in the cloud. Image will not affect the size of the email, but quantity of image will do. Point number two, and it's in, the, in addition to the first one, do not copy and paste text. So if, for example, if you're a copywriter or somebody else write the copy in the document, or a document or Google document, do not just copy and paste in the, the email because it will uh, move over the formatting from uh, the uh, text document um, that hide it uh, formatting and it will add extra uh, codes to your HTML and it will cause a problem. So I'll show you right now in Clavio how to check it and how to fix it. So I'm in my Clavio and I click on, let's say campaigns and let's try something okay so this is the email clone to test okay clone uh, then we do content and let's do edit content correct okay so we have it here so typically how people do and where is the majority of issue is is just copying and pasting so and let's say I want to copy this. So I copying this and I want to add it here. So the problem with this, uh, it will bring extra format. As you can see, it formatted in like weird way. And if we go to click source here, as you can see, there's like we a lot of weird uh, copy. Uh, so what what is the right way to do it? Uh, first, you can paste into Notepad or something to strip out the formatting. Or the another solution, what we typically do internally, we insert the block and instead of pasting it here, uh, here we just do go to source. Oh, hold on, let me just copy this. Uh, we go to source, source. We click add it here. Uh, and then we do the formatting. Uh, we adjust formatting and as you can see, this uh, code versus this one. This one is extremely heavy, this is extremely light and you will need to find in the middle ground to make your email much, much, much lighter. So do not copy and paste text from uh, any document. Make sure you strip out all formatting so that it's not formatted and in the email email editor you can uh, add formatting and the third tip is to keep essential links only in your email links you need to include as well as essential blocks in the email um, in some tools like Clavy email marketing software there's tools uh, blocks like product block same thing in I believe in MailChimp they have also recommended product blocks those blocks 
are adding a lot of extra code. If you need to add them, add them, but make sure the rest of the email is live as well as do not add those um, website look uh, like those menu, uh, like which looks like on your website, the menu. Uh, email is not website. It, you should not mimic your website. It should be much simpler and uh, uh, there should be one call to action versus like, multiple call to action uh, in, in your menu. I hope it helps. I hope you will not send any uh, mar marketing emails anymore which are clipped. And if you have any additional questions, please leave them below under this video. I check them constantly and respond to, to all of your questions.